is the Coast Guard part of the military, or is that like a club? <laughs> it's a club, right? I mean, it's not really. What, what do they do? There's a pamphlet, you sign it, you color a turtle, you're in. I mean, it can't really be that hard to be in the Coast Guard. Doing shows for the military has changed. When I first started back in the 90s, we were at war. So it was pretty nice. You go to like uh, Germany, Italy, England, Spain, Japan, Korea, and everybody's very laid back. After 9-11, things changed. Everybody went to full alert. So we go to bases now. We're in full battle gear, helmets, uh, flak jackets. Uh, we have military patrols around us. One of the biggest things I noticed uh, going overseas for the troops, being on the front lines, it's not like stripes. It's not like what you see in the movies. It's pretty intense there, and the boredom is what really gets the guys. They're under stress 24-7, 365. They don't take the weekends off. They'd rather work out and stay fit, trained, ready to go. Uh, the men and women that are on the front lines, they get injured, and their attitude, they're upset not of their injury, but that they can't get out there and help their brother and sister who's on the front line. And so the commitment, the dedication, the patriotism is something that, that it just touches me on such a deep level that I feel we are the water boy of the Super Bowl team. It's our job to go out there and make sure that they are not forgotten, that there's a piece of home coming to them, to bring them some laughter, to let them escape for a few moments. <laughs> Thank you.